Hello everybody, my name is Cool Blue, and I'm bringing you guys this video of me playing a board game. Uh, this is going to be me playing Terraforming Mars Ares uh, Expedition. Um, I'm going to be playing through a solo player version of the game, and as you can see I kind of have it set up here ready for a solo player game. Uh, I'll be explaining, uh, so if you want to see a video of me explaining the rules, uh, giving you a review of the game, and also giving you my impressions of the game, uh, please feel free to go check out the previous video that I did. Uh, I'll, I'll link that somewhere in the video uh, so you can check that out. Uh, but for now, I'm going to just play through this, uh, the solo uh, and we'll see how I do. I'm going to be playing on the expert difficulty because why not? <laughs> I think I'm good at the game. I'm pretty sure I'm not good at the game, but I think I am. So we'll see how badly I lose. Uh, if you're playing on the other difficulty, novice difficulty, at the end of each, uh, sorry, once this cube moves up each round, uh, this is the uh, cube used to track the uh, dummy player. Once that cube moves up, um, after five rounds, then you get to move these two tracks, um, or one of those two tracks, two spaces if you're playing on novice. If you're playing on uh, intermediate, uh, you get to move uh, basically a terraform rating on the uh, heat or the oxygen by one step. And if you're playing on expert, you don't get that benefit at all. So I'm going to play on the expert. I'm going to get no extra boost. I have to do it all myself. A lot of heavy lifting. And uh, the end goal when playing solo, just in case you don't know, is for me to get the heat all the way up to the max, is to get the oxygen all the way up to the max, and also get all of the ocean tiles flipped over. So I need to do all three of those things to be considered victorious in a solo game, and I have 25 rounds to do so. So the way the rounds will work is uh, every round, uh, every sorry, <laughs> yeah, every round there will be a random card drawn for the AI player over here. And uh, I also get to play my own card, so it's kind of the same simultaneous selection thing that you have in a normal game, but except for I will choose my action first, and then the AI player will reveal their action. And uh, then I'll play like normal, I'll play my own actions. There's no dummy board, so dummy player board, but this will just basically give me an action to do um, in addition to what I choose. And of course, if I choose the same action that the dummy player chooses, then I get the normal benefits, and I just kind of keep playing normal. Um, another thing to mention too when playing solo is that uh, the dummy player will not shuffle or will not change their cards. They kind of play their cards in a stack, so to speak. Um, and after they finish playing their cards, after they play their fifth card, um, after that round is over, this marker will move up and then uh, their cards will be shuffled and then uh, we start the next round. And we keep doing that for 20 rounds and then once we reach the uh, 21st round, uh, because this marker once again moves every five rounds um, on the last round i get to choose the order that the dummy player will play their cards so i as the active player will get to choose the order that the dummy player will play their cards and uh, once that round is over once the 25th round is done the game is over we check see if i won if i did hooray if i didn't then too bad so that's essentially how this goes now um, normally when you play the game you they uh, they encourage you to use these little uh, markers here these little uh, cardboard tokens to show which ones you're playing the board is way over there I can't really reach that too easily so I'm not going to be using these but I just want to show this on camera just in case you want to know what you should be using uh, and also uh, in the same spirit of my other game that I have that I think I played of a uh, role selection um, I have the cards to choose from here I'm instead going to do a bag pulling so I'm going to shuffle up some tokens and pull them from a bag uh, the reason why is just keep things uh, swift and moving. It's all the same. Uh, I just don't want to worry about shuffling uh, some card protect or cards with card protectors. So that's the main reason why I'm doing that. So put that there. And this is essentially the same thing, but I'm going to keep the markers here on screen so that way you all can read the actions and the cards once you see them. I'm going to put these five representative tokens back in the bag over here, and we'll put that right there. All right, and we're halfway there. Oh, oh, ah, drop my cards. <laughs> All right, so first thing that's going to happen is I am going to choose, uh, well, first I'm going to draw eight cards. So in a solo game, just like a normal game, you will draw eight cards. So I'm going to draw eight cards from the draw area. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for me. These will go back in there. And these are my eight starter cards, and then I get to choose uh, one of two factions. So I'm going to deal myself two factions, or two uh, corporations, as you say, not factions. And we'll put these back in their place over here. And I get to choose one of these two as a starter. 
so let's see what I have. Um, I have Interplanetary Cinematics, uh, which they get to start with one steel production, which is pretty nice. <clears throat> and uh, whenever I play a red card, whenever I play an, a uh, vent card, that will cost me $2 less. And these other ones, um, I start with $48. And whenever I play a card that costs $20 or more, I get to pay $4 less for it. Uh, if I had to choose between these two, I think, in, in, in all seriousness, this card is way better than that one. Uh, this could be good for some of the bigger bigger ticket cards that I might be playing. So maybe maybe I'll go for it, but it doesn't give me all the benefits. It gives me two more dollars and then some possible discounts on bigger cards later on. Whereas this one, it gives me a steel production. That's pretty nice. Now you know you know what? Okay, okay. I will I will <laughs> I will try my hardest to see if I can do good with the extra two dollars. So I keep this board here. And now I'm going to get my starting money. So my starting resources will be $48. 30, 40, 8. So I have $48. Oh, I didn't even look at my cards. Um, and, and what I'll do for my cards is um, I will put these over here. Actually, no, I'll put these over here. And I'll, I'll try to build my tableau over here. So that way it will keep it separate for you all to see. And then I'll keep my hand down here. Now note that my hand size is a max of 10 cards, so I can hold a max of 10 cards in my hand. Um, right now I have 8. But these are the cards that I have. And... Right off the back, uh, I can only use my effects really for this card, which is not that great. Let's just add a micro to another card. I keep seeing that card. So uh, when you play, oh, oh, I didn't mention this before in the other rules, but when you discard a card for any reason, oh, well, when you discard a card specifically because you want to or because your hand limit is above 10, you'll get $3 for a discarding card. That's a very important mechanic in this game. I didn't mention the rules. Um, I'll, I'll mention the comments of that so that way you guys can uh, note that for when you play your own game. It's a very, very, very important and key thing in this game. Okay. So looking at the spread of cards, I'm thinking that I definitely want to get a green out. Let's see, this card I can only play if I have two oceans out, and it'll give me two dollars in money production. Uh, if I can just get some card generation, that'll be great. So this one lets me spend a dollar to get a card. This one allows me to discard a card to get three plants. So that'll be a nice little engine to have together. Oh, this one gives me cards, but I need to have oxygen at red or higher. That's pretty high. Uh, man, this is a challenging one. Okay, so so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and play a construct. So I'll play construct as my action. And when I choose construct, um, I will get to, or each player, well me, I will get to play one red or blue card and then as a bonus I can play I can either draw a card or play an additional red or blue and the bot will choose research so in the order of things uh, construct happens before research so I do construct first uh, so construct let's see I think we definitely want to get this card out of here and already done so put that there so it cost me five dollars and then I can play a second red or blue card Oh, sorry, this one allows me to draw two cards. So I'll draw this card. And I'll draw this card. All right, and this one requires me to lose one Terraform rating, but I get $10. That could be good. I can play as my second card. This one requires yellow temperatures. Uh, I could spend eight heat to increase the TR rating. So actually, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take advantage of that. I'm gonna throw away this card right now because I can throw away cards for whatever reason. And I'm gonna get myself $3. One, two, three. All right, cool. All good, all good. Uh, so now I have a little bit more money to be flexible with. So I could go ahead and try to put this card out. Actually, no, this card doesn't do much for me either. This one just costs money. Yeah, this gives me one victory point for every two fours of victory points I have. I mean, it, it allows me to add a microbe and animal. I'll hold on to it for now. I'll hold on to it for now. Uh, I think I definitely want to get this card out. 
So I'm going to play this card in the blue row, which, uh-oh, <laughs> I'm not going to have space for all these things. I'll keep the money a little bit higher here and shift this up. Get my blues down here. I don't want to move that. Uh, space. How does one have space? All right, yeah, that's, that should be fine. So it cost me nine dollars to pay for that or to play that. So I'm gonna put in a ten, take back a one. All right. So I played my two cards, and now we do the research action. So I get to draw two cards, and discard one. So I drew my two cards, and from these two cards, I get to discard one. Um, I think I'm definitely discarding this one. All right, that's all good. And now that I've done that, actually, let me shift this box over, like so. Also, I have space for my cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have space for two more cards. But that's it for this round. So now we move on to the round two. Now the bot, the bot player the dummy player won't be shuffling this back in so they'll they'll keep this out but for me I get to choose which next card I want to use but I can't I cannot choose construct or construction so I think hmm therefore I am <laughs> no I think I'm gonna play green I'm gonna play develop because I think I want this card out here yeah, this card is perfect. So this card was say, uh, this card says uh, you may play a green card from your hand that has a printed cost of nine dollars or less without paying for the cost, and then during production allows me to draw a card. So that's pretty nice because I can play this and then play this. This will cost me a terraform rating, but it'll give me four heat. That'll give me one um, uh, card production. That's pretty good. All right, so let's see what the AI is going to draw. The AI is going to play construct. Cool. Okay, this works out for me pretty well. So I'll keep my green stacks. This is difficult. Um, I keep my green stacks here, so I'm gonna spend eighteen dollars to pay for this. I have no, I have no discounts for my steel and nothing else discounts it, so I'm just paying straight up eighteen dollars. So put in twenty, take back two, and oh yeah, it's it's not more than twenty dollars or greater than or equal to twenty dollars, so I can't to drop the cost of that. And now this effect, this lightning bolt happens immediately. Says you may play a green card from your hand that is nine or less. So I will play this one. And this one cost me a terraform rating Bloop. to play, um, but it I get my card income increased by one, and I get my heat increased by four, so that's pretty nice. Good stuff. And now I get to do the construct, so I will do the construct because it happens second in line. And I think I'll go ahead and spend the, oof, this is a tough one. I think I'll go ahead and spend the fifteen dollars. Now let me increase my TR rating. Yeah, I'll do my TR rating first. Oh. So I'll spend the sixteen dollars. So it's ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, sixteen. Ah. So this is four, six, ten, sixteen, and I get to raise my TR rating by two. One, two. So I'm on six TR rating now. Woohoo! <laughs> I think that's it for that round. So now we're going to go to the next round. Um, I am going to choose, so I cannot choose develop again, but I can choose construct again. Actually, no, I need to choose uh, production because I need money right now. So I'm going to choose production and the bot is going to uh, choose develop. Okay. So with develop, um, I don't really have a card I can play, so I can't afford to play any these cards. This card can only be placed if I have two oceans showing on the board and I do not meet that requirement um, I could discard some cards to maybe get to 18 but that's pretty expensive that's pretty high that's a pretty high bar also that one has a requirement of the heat or so the oxygen needs to be red or higher so it's gonna take a while so I can't do anything with this particular play which is a little sad oh also let me go back um, sorry this price was shipped and reduced by three dollars because when you play the development you should reduce the price by three dollars so this should have been reduced by three dollars so I actually have three dollars left <laughs> Don't forget your discounts. Uh huh. Let's see. I'm thinking. Hmm. All right, this is a little tough. 
So, oh wait, wait, what, what I'm thinking about? Oh, sorry, I was, I was thinking about my next turn. Um, let me go and do production. Sorry, we should be doing production right now. So I get six dollars. So I'll get my six dollars. And now that I have my six dollars, I will also get this moved up. There we go. Um, I will also get to draw a card because of card income. So I get to draw a card. It goes right there. And that one is a grass. Requires red temperature or warmer. I get three plants when I play it. And I get to increase my plant production by one. Uh, my heat. I get to produce four heat. So I'll do four. One, two, three. Then four. No plant production. And then uh, as a bonus, I will get four extra dollars. So I will get four extra dollars. Put in a five. Take back a one. All right, and I think that's about it. So now that I've done that, uh, let's go into our next move. Um, hmm, what action do I want to select? I think I want... Hmm. Let's see. Ah, this is tough. This is really tough. It's tough because because I I want to do construct, but I, d I don't want to be too broke. But also want to do action because if I do action, I can tap this twice. But if I do construct, I can go ahead and get the card out that I can get a nice little chain going with this one in particular. And I I guess I can pay I can play this one too and get ten dollars. Okay okay fine you know I'll do construct. So I'll choose the construct that construction action. I keep saying construct. Um, construction action and the bot will choose yay production woo all right so I get to play two cards of red and blue if I want to so I will do this one for $15 this is 5 10 and then 15 right there yep 3 4 5 10 perfect and uh, that gives me that action. Oh, and I get to gain three plants when I play that card. Because that's what the action set, or that's what the uh, Thunderbolt says. And now I'm going to also play this card for $1, which is exactly what I have. And this one allows me to, or I have to drop my TR rating by one, but I get $10, which is good. Every dollar counts. Cool. And now I do production. So with the production, I'm going to go ahead and get the money. Um, I get $5. I don't get any bonus from this because I didn't play the production. The bot did. So I get to draw a card. Ooh, I like that. Some more heat coming in. And uh, I get four heat. And I think that's it. So the bot is going to have to play... Uh, action next so that means I can I can hold off on doing action and instead I can do production again so I can, I can choose to do production since I didn't play production the bot did so I will play production actually let me play research uh, I'll play production because I want more money and now the bot is going to go ahead and play this one for action so action happens before production so we do action first so that allows me to activate both of these and also do some any uh, standard projects if I have them. So this one I can spend a dollar, so I will, to draw a card. So I'm going to spend a dollar. So put in a five, take back one, two, three, four. And I get to draw a card. Oh, it's that card. No, look at before. Oh, no, it's not. It's different. Oh, that card's actually pretty good. And now I can choose to, if I want to, discard a card to draw three, or sorry, to get three plants. And I think I will do that. I'm going to discard this card that I don't need. And I'm going to go ahead and get myself three plants. One, two, three. Now at this point, I'm going to do my, I'm going to check my standard projects. There's none that I really want to do. So when you do the action, uh, if you have enough heat to raise the temperature, if you have enough plants to make a, a green space, you must do it. And you, you can do those as many times as you want, but that kind of keeps the game pushing along. 
So once again, you must do those things. Uh, there, there, it's not, it's not a really an optional thing. So I have to do those particular actions. So I will. So I'm going to go ahead and convert this eight heat into one temperature rise, which gives me a TR rating, which is nice. And now I have fourteen dollars left. I can spend fourteen dollars to increase the heat again, which will give me more money. And also get me towards my goal of getting things up and going. The question is, do I want to do that? Uh, hmm. I don't think I will. I don't. I don't think I want to do that. <clears throat> All right. So now that that's done, we're going to go into the production since production was played. So I get six dollars. Five and one. And then I get to draw one card. And then I get four heat. And that's it. Oh, and also get four additional dollars. Because I played that card. Alright, so now that that's done, all these go back in the bag. This will go up to round the second marker, so it's noted that we're on round six. And now I get to choose my next card like normal. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I really need to get this card out, because it'll give me a nice increase in thing. Oh, actually. I don't have any signs tagged right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get this card out. And then I also want to try to get this card out a little bit later. Because, oh, oh, actually, no, I really want this card. Oh, I got, I got to increase the oxygen level, so it's going to take a while. Okay. So I'm going to choose green. I'm going to choose develop. Development. And the bot player will shuffle his bag. And they will choose action. Okay, cool. So develop happens before action. So I will spend the $18 to build this here. So this is 10, five. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, it's also reduced by $3 because I played this. So I've spent $15 instead at 18. And I get to increase my heat production by one. And I also get a force victory point. So just a force VP right there for me. And I also get to increase the oxygen by one, which increases my TR by one. Okay, that's good. And now we do action. So action, um, I will choose to spend one dollar to draw a card. And then I can choose to discard a card to draw or to get three plants. Um, I think I will do that. I just gotta figure out which card I want to get rid of. I'm gonna give her rad suits. It's a nice card, but it's it's a little bit too high of a of an increase. So because I discarded that. Um, through the action, I have to do the rest of the action, which is get three plants. All right, all good. And now that I've done that, I can choose, or I, I have to do my other actions. So I don't really have money to do any other standard actions that I have to pay for, but I do have enough plants to make a green space. So I will. So four, four makes eight. So I will make a green space. And I get to increase the oxygen by one step. Get to increase the TR by one step all good all right that was, that was a pretty productive turn I like that the bot helped me out on that one yes they did so I think I want to do um, I need money again so I'm gonna choose I'm actually gonna choose to do production nope nope I lied I'm gonna choose to do uh, yeah I'm gonna do production because I, I really want to get the heat up if I can and the bot will choose develop okay cool so the bot chooses develop at the pay full price for these cards. This one, during production phase, I get one mega credit per, oh, per energy that I have, including this. Perfect. So when you're playing this particular version of the game, uh, this is different from the other, ver from the uh, bigger, from his bigger brother for Terraform Mars, but these tags are persistent, meaning that if I add another energy card later, I still get this benefit of increasing that. So this is a really good card to play. So for $8, heck yeah, I'm playing that. One, two, three, five. And now I get to increase my mega credits by uh, each energy tag I have. And I currently have one, two, three. None other ones. So I'm going to do one, two, three. Good timing. Good timing. And now that, oh, yeah, sorry. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and do production. So I produce, uh, this is $8 plus three. So I get to produce $8 plus three plus four. 
So 8 plus 3 is 11, and then plus 4 is 15, so I get $15 total. And then I get one card. And then I get five heat. And that's it. All right, all good. That was, good. That was a good fruitful turn. Now the question is, can I get this card? Nope, I still can't get it down because I need more oxygen. And I can't get this one down yet because I need more heat. So I think I need to get this one down for import GHG. They'll give me two more heat production. So I'm gonna choose the action of uh, green. I'm gonna choose to develop again. I just can't choose production. I can choose develop though. I'm gonna go ahead and develop, get more cards out here. And now that I've done that, let me scooch all this over. There we go, now we got space for everything. So I chose develop and the bot will choose to do construction. Okay, I'm not gonna have enough money for everything, but that's okay. Uh, I'm, tr I'm trying to contemplate if I can actually get money. This one requires five science tags and I have one, two, three. So it's gonna take a while for me to get that. If I can get this out, that'd be nice. So this is 10. All right, so let me focus on this. So if I play this card, I get to reduce it by $3. And it costs me five, so this is $5 total. I have no extra reductions, so I'll just do that. And I have enough money to play the other card. Okay, cool, perfect. All right, so that increases my heat production by two, one, two. So I'm at seven now. Feeling pretty good about this game so far. <laughs> All right, now we've done that. Uh, we're gonna go into the construction phase. We're gonna spend $10, which is what I have exactly to build that card. And what this card means is that whenever I play a science tag, including this, uh, I may discard a card. Uh, if that card had a plant, draw two cards. Otherwise, just draw a card. So, well, it has to have a plant tag, I mean. So I'm actually gonna sacrifice this card and I'm going to draw two cards. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. That's good. That's that's a really good, really good return on investment. All right. So that's it for that round. So now I'm definitely going to do uh, production again. It's a 50-50 if the bot chooses to do production or if they choose to do research. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and just do production because worst case scenario, me and the bot clash is gonna that's gonna be not so great, but it happens. And oh sweet, they did a uh, research, perfect, that works. So production happens before research because it's four versus five. So I will go ahead and do my thing. Um, I'm going to get uh, three plus eight, so I'm gonna get eleven dollars plus four, so I'm gonna get fifteen dollars. I'm gonna get one card. And then I'm going to generate seven heat. Oof, getting hot in here. And nothing else. Alright. <clears throat> and now I get to do this. I will draw two cards and then keep one of these two that I drew. So I've drawn two cards. Uh, this one requires that I spend three heat. I get to gain four plants and add two animal or microbes to another card. And then this other card is uh, uh, effect. When you play a card, you may remove two microbes from this card to pay $10 less for that card. And the effect, when I play an animal tag, a germ tag, or a plant tag, add a microbe to this card. Nice. I like both of these, actually. This one costs $0, and I'm generating a decent amount of heat, so it might be worth building uh, this one, the red one. But this other blue one is actually really good too. I want both of them. Man. I really do want both of these. Hmm. Okay. I think definitely this one's the better card of the two. Okay. Alright. So now this is the last of this particular phase, and they will be choosing production. So I know they'll be choosing production, so I can actually go ahead and get some good cards out. Because I can get, if I, I don't know if I can afford both of these. Oh no, I, I can't put this one out because I don't have five science tags, I only have four. I need to put this out first. 
This one requires red temperature or colder. During production phase, produce two plants. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I definitely want this one out. So this one's going to cost $15, which is exactly what I have. Uh, I don't know if I can generate any more money. That's if I choose construction. I can just draw a card and call it a day. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I really want to get my plant production up. So that means I'm choosing green. So I'm choosing develop. And, uh, oh, I can spend $3 less. That's so nice. So I'm going to spend uh, 15 and get $3 back because that's what the card lets me do. And uh, let's see. Oh, right. Sorry. I didn't do the draw. I mean, I already know it's going to be production, but that's, that's how it goes. And, oh, that increases this by 2. 1, 2. Perfect. Okay, and now we do production. So production is going to give me a whole bunch of good things, a whole bunch of goodies. It's going to be eight plus three, so that's eleven. Pull up, just eleven. Ten and one. I'm going to get to draw a card. Now I'm going to produce seven heat. Oof, a lot of heat here. And I get to produce two plants. Nice. Welcome to the uh, welcome aboard plant production. Glad you're here. So this is gonna move up. These are gonna go back in the bag, and I now have what 15 rounds left. Oof. Time is a crunching, and those numbers aren't moving yet. So usually, what happens in my experience when you get to the very last round is that you just have so much, uh, so many cards that you can't play. You just throw them all away for like three dollars a piece, and then uh, you just just try to buy the rest of the game. <laughs> It's kind of like a mad dash to victory at that point. At the, you know what I mean? Alright. So, I think I want to choose to do construction. Oh, this one's nice. Uh, when you draw cards during your research phase, draw two additional cards. That could be really good. Yeah, I'm definitely doing construction. So I'm choosing phase two, construction. And the bot will choose. Please don't be construction. Yay, action. Sweet, they chose action. All right. So I could also put this out too. Oh, I really want to put this out now since I have five science tags. Because I have one, two, three, four, five science tags. I can put this out now. And that lets me just draw two cards during action. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, I like that one. That's good. So this card cost me $22. Because of my ability of my corporation, I could spend less or four less dollars. So that goes from 22 to 18. Um, and that's all the only reduction I really get. So I spend $18 instead. I have exactly not enough. Um, I have $14 at the throwaway card if I want to build it right now. I kind of don't want to. Oof, that's tough. Yeah. Yeah, looks like I'm not building that card right now. All right, fine, I'll build it later. I will build these two instead. This one costs 10, this one costs 3. I have enough money for that. So I'll spend the $13. Dang, that really sucks. That really sucks. Um, but at least I'll have this ability, which I can't. Uh, what is this? When you play a card, you may remove two micros from this card to. to blah, blah, blah. Uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, when you when you play a card with a animal tag, germ tag, or plant tag, including this, add a microbe to this card. So I have to discard two microbes from this card to make it make a card cost two less or ten less, which is nice. But for right now, uh, this is not going to be doing much. Okay. So now I'm moving to the action phase. Um, I could discard a card to get three plants. Uh, it's not really going to help me right now. Oh, I played a science tag. Ah, I played a science tag. That's a science tag. I need to pay attention to these symbols here, because I could have got this earlier. But this allows me to discard. It says uh, discard a card if it includes a plant tag. Then I get to draw two cards. If it's just a no plant tag, it's just one card. I'll pass on that. I'll pass on that. I don't want to do that. And uh, so I'm not going to do any of my actions. Oh, that sucks. But I am going to burn the planet down. So that's cool. So I'm going to go ahead and spend the $8, 3, 5, to increase the temperature by 1. 
increase my TR by one. I'm gonna spin, sorry, eight uh, fire, I should say. I'm gonna spin eight more fire to increase the temperature by one, one. And I don't have enough fire to make that uh, higher. Oh, wait, I have money. Ah, I have a dollar. Yes, I will spin a dollar to draw a card. I thought I had no money left, but I had one dollar left over. Ha. Ah. Oh, this will give me some uh, steel production. Or I can scrap it right now so I can get three plants. Like idea of scrapping this right now to get three plants. So I'll throw that away to get three plants, which is one of my other actions. This one here. Okay, all good. I am happy with that. Um, I definitely need to do a production, so I'm going to do a production. I hope the game chooses not to do a production. We shall see, said the blind man. Ah, you jerk. It chose our production. Curse you. Oh, well. So I will get to produce 10 plus 4 plus 3, so 17. I get to draw a card. Uh, I get to produce 7 fire. Five, oh, 5 and 2. And I produce two plants. All right, looking pretty good. So I'm, I'm a little upset that we both did the same thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose the actions again, because <clears throat> I just wanna increase my TR rating one more time. And uh, it doesn't really matter because the, uh, the game has chosen action already, so, or the dummy bot. And they choose, oh, they choose uh, production. I like that one. Or sorry, develop. So with develop, oh, I'm so close to having the the uh, air up to the right level. Literally one through and off. That's that's a shame. This one requires me to have two science or sorry two uh, energy tags, which I do already have energy tags. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this one for seven dollars. So two and five for seven, and I increase my card draws by one. Sweet. And let me double check, just just take a moment. Let's see, I have one, two, so I'm at two. Then money-wise, I'm at one, two, three, four now. So I'm at four dollars extra in production. Uh, one, two, three, eight. So I should be at eight fire, not seven. One, two, three. Oh no, seven, sorry, math is hard. Should be at seven fire. And then uh, these don't really do anything else as far as boosting up my numbers over there. Okay, so I wanna do a sanity check, see where I was. Make sure I was getting the right amount of amount of moolah. All right, so I did a develop. Now I'm going to do the actions. So with the actions, I can spin a dollar to draw a card. I think I will. One, two, three, four, and draw a card. And then I can discard a card to get three plants. So it requires three ocean tiles to be flipped, and I may spend. A, I must spend a plant to play it. I increase my plant production by one. Yeah, I'll throw this one away to draw or to get three plants. Seems like it's not really worth it, but it's it's kind of better than nothing. Uh, oh wait, wait! I played a science tag. So once I play a science tag, I gotta I gotta remember I can do this. So I can discard a card. I don't want to. So I'm gonna ignore that. Um. I did not play any micro tags, plant tags, or animal tags, so I don't get that extra benefit. And uh, this one hasn't kicked in yet, so it's fine. All right, and now I get to have to do the rest of this. So I spend four and four, which is eight, for a forced. Now increase the oxygen by one, bloop. Increase my TR by one, bloop. All right. And I'm going to spend 8 fire to increase the temperature by 1, increase my TR by 1. And I think that's all I can really do. I can't do anything else. Alright, so let's see. What do they have? I think I'm, I'm going to production. Because no matter what they play, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be okay with that. I'm going to just do production so I can get some uh, nice resources out here. And the dummy player is going to do a construct. So with construction, that's going to be very against my advantage. <laughs> Not going to help me at all. You jerk. 
So I can build a red or a blue card. Um, right now I have $22, oh, sorry, right now I have, um, sorry, eight, nine dollars. Hmm. With my nine dollars. So this is gonna reduce this by four and this by four if I choose to build them. So I can get this down to uh, 17. So I just need to get eight dollars somehow. I'm not gonna be able to do that. This one's even worse. I'll pass on the construction. Feels bad, but I got to. I I, I got to hold on to my resources. I really don't want to lose too much. So now I'm at ten plus two, so twelve plus four, so that's sixteen plus four, that's twenty. So I get twenty dollars. I get two cards. And then I get seven fire, five and two, and two plants. Production is chugging along. All right, so they're absolutely gonna be playing a research and I get to draw an extra card for research, which is nice. Um, so knowing that, um, I'm gonna go ahead and, let's see, I can do construction now and I can afford those big cards. So I think I will. And of course, they're going to choose to do their last action, which is uh, research. We've already called it. So what two do I want to build? So I can build this one for, instead of 22, I spend 18. So that's 18. And then I have $11 left. And with that $11, uh, so if I throw this card away, oh, that has an energy tag. That'll give me more money. <laughs> I really want that card out too. That's gonna be a nice one. You know, I'll just draw a card. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and build this one. That's gonna cost me eighteen dollars. So I'll spend the eighteen. So ten, three, five, eighteen, and. Um, I had the requirements of five science tags, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven of them. Um, and now that I played that, <clears throat> um, I also get to do this, which allows me to discard a card. And if it has a, if it has a uh, animal, germ, or plant tag on it, I get to, oh, sorry, sorry, this one, sorry, this one here. If it has a plant tag on it, then I get to draw an additional card. I don't really have any to, to do a additional card thing, but. I think I'll throw away satellite farms. It's not helping me right now. I think it's to just draw one card. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. So we're on to our next part. Um, all right. So I played a card, and then I discarded a card because of the science tag and drew a card. Uh, now let's see. Did a card? Did I draw a card that was useful? Hmm. Eh, it's not that useful. This card costs twenty-one dollars. If I were to build it, it would be reduced by four dollars. So it goes from twenty-one to uh, seventeen, and then uh, I have currently eleven dollars. So if I can get six dollars, if I decided to discard two cards, I could actually have enough money to build this one to flip two oceans. Yeah, I think that's worth it. No, 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 I don't want to discard this one. I also don't want to discard this one either. Ugh. All right, fine. I'll just draw a card with my uh, second action on const construction. I was kind of hoping I would get something to actually build, but no, here we are. All right, so that's done. Now I'm going to do the uh, yellow action, which is draw two, and keep one of these two. So this card requires me to lose five heat, but I get four money production. Uh, this one... <coughs> Uh, just raise the temperature by one and I get uh, the production phase I get to produce two plants yeah I'm definitely taking that one that's my card and we're on to round 20 or sorry round 15 16 so we're almost there we're getting close um, I gotta start being very tactful with moving stuff around here so I think I definitely need to do a production um, 
and then after I do a production, I can do a green, and then, yeah, okay, right, we got that. So the game is going to choose to do research first. So uh, production happens before research, so I'm going to do production, which production allows me to get four plus four, so eight plus 12, so $20. And then I draw two cards. And then I get seven heat, five and two. And I get two plants. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards. Okay, so I'm okay right now. And they're gonna choose this one. So, oh man, I forgot to do the ability here. This allows me to draw two extra cards during research. Ah, I gotta remember that. So I get to draw four cards and keep one. That'll really help last time around. Have uh, have a better choices, you know. This one's nice. Spend six heat to gain two dollars and raise the oxygen one step. This is not that great. Uh, this is not that great. This is okay. Yeah, I'm definitely taking this one for my tenth card. All right, we ha we have a we have a really good turn next turn. Uh, I'm definitely choosing construction. And there's nothing you can do to stop a game. <laughs> oh, okay. Develop might stop me. So the game is going to choose develop. Let's see. Do I have anything that's pressing that I really want to play right now? Hmm. I can now play this since oxygen is high enough. I can also play this since oxygen is high enough. It's, it has to be red or higher. Oxygen is just barely red or higher. Yeah, I'm definitely playing this. So I'm going to play, play this for 18. Shoot, that's a lot of money. Get $2 back. So make my construction turn not as uh, fruitful. But you know, it is what it is. Adjusting and adapting plans, that's what I'm all about. And I get to increase my card draw by 1. I get to increase my energy heat production by two so it's up to nine now which is pretty good stuff oh and uh this increase hold on so i'm at one two three four five money production now cool good stuff good stuff all right and now we move on to construction which is what i chose and I really want to get Steelworks out for the action phase. So I don't know how I'm going to pay for it, but I'll put it right there for now. And uh, I need to pay $15, so I'm $2 short. So I need to throw away a card so I can get two extra dollars. I think I have a lot of heat production. I don't really need any more. So maybe I can get rid of one of these heat production cards. I think this one's the outlier, because these other ones are better than it. Oh no, this one lets me raise the oxygen one step. That's why it's good. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely throwing away this then. And that gives me three dollars. Alright, and now that I've done that, uh, I can afford to pay for this $15 card that I put down here. So 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 15. All good. All good. And uh, yeah, that's it for this particular, oh, uh, and also I will draw a card since I have no money to play anything else. So I'll draw a card. Okay. Let's see, production again. Definitely wanna do production now. Come on, game. No, game, this is not what I meant. <laughs> I, chose cons I chose production, they chose production. Okay, so we're just producing this round. That's kinda sad. So uh, 12 plus four, 16, plus five, so $21. And then I get to draw three cards. One, two, three. Oh, three. And I produce nine heat. So I'll take a 10, put back a one. I got a lot of heat over here. And two plants. There we go. So now I gotta count my cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So now I have to throw away a card. 
and uh, when I throw away this card I will get three dollars I think I'm definitely throwing my venture capitalism I don't really want it yeah, I got three dollars for it all right so next round uh, that was kind of a bust but here we are um, if I choose develop I can actually build a the soil warming which is a nice card and hopefully the the game will choose production or well action so I'm gonna choose develop or development I'm trying to make sure this is kinda neat here All right. and the game will choose Yay, construction! Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to spend... I'm going to buy this card, which is going to cost me $4 less because of my faction ability. I'll spend the $20. And I get to raise my... This by 2, 1, 2. And get to raise the temperature by one step. Bloop. This goes up. Bloop. And now the game lets me do construction. Uh... Hmm. I gotta throw away some cards to build some stuff, don't I? Man. Yeah, can I can I undo that? I wanna undo that. It's probably better for me to build this instead. I save five dollars. I don't know if I can do anything else actually. Oh. That's really tough. I'll stick with it. Uh, I'll, I'll just have a really bad combo here. Um, I think I'm going to throw away some cards. I'm going to throw away this card. And this card is really good. This card looks okay. What is this? It allows me to get a three money production and one steal. Uh... I'm trying not to have a wasted turn here. So I'm going to go to two cards for six dollars. Just rip off the band aid and go. Um, so I have eleven dollars now. Here are two more cards to do any of this. So I can make this card, this card, if I build this card, it'll be worth, or sorry, it'll, it'll cost 17 instead of costing 21. So, or if I discard, man, I really, I really need more germ tags. Do I have it? Not have it? Wait, I played a plant tag. Oh, okay, cool. Woo. All right, we saved, we saved ourselves. So I played a plant tag, which adds a germ to here and that means that I can when buying cards I can choose to discard um, those two to make it $10 less so actually, I actually want my cards back actually do I want my cards back? what were these? so if uh, let's see that's this costs $5 now so I had the money beforehand so I can keep my cards and still build this so I think I will Actually, I think I will. Yeah, how about, yeah. So I'm going to discard these two to make this cost $10 less. And I will spend the $5 that it costs to build this now. Boom. Strategy. Engine equals built. Heck yeah. That felt good. That felt good. Alright, so the one that's going to be playing next has to be uh, action. So they're going to play action. Uh, and I guess I'm going to play production. I don't really have any other... I mean, I, I could draw more cards, but I'm just going to play production. I feel like I've done okay so far. I feel like I haven't been the most optimal. My faction ability is really challenging to use because all these expensive cards I want played, but also I need to get the rest of the engine built, you know? You know... You know, all right. <clears throat> so they choose action. I choose production. Action has some for production. 
So let's see. I can spin. Uh, I don't have any money. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I can spin six heat, so I will do that. I'll spin six heat to get two dollars, which is perfect. And I get to raise the oxygen by one step and get my TR up. So I've done that one. Uh, so now that I've done that one, I'm going to spin one dollar to draw a card. And then with this one, I'm just going to draw two cards. And uh, with this one, I can discard a card to get three plants. Uh, pretty sure I will. Let's see, what do we have? I haven't flipped any oceans right now, have I? Man, I really don't want this super expensive card. So this is a super expensive card. I'm going to throw this card away and uh, get three plants instead. I think I've done this, done this, I've done that, done that. And I haven't done that, which I can spend fifteen dollars to get a plant tile. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. Hmm, it's getting pretty dire. All right, I'm gonna throw away one, two, three. So this is gonna be nine dollars. say four and I really don't want to but five. I'm gonna throw away these five cards so I can get fifteen dollars and I'm gonna spend that fifteen dollars to activate this to get a green space and that's gonna increase the oxygen by one it's gonna increase my TR by one uh, that that hurt but uh, that's all that's all I got that's all I got that hurt a lot. Hurt me in my, my soul. My soul. Alright, so oh also I have to do all this. So I'm going to spin that. Get two back. Increase the temperature by one. Bloop. Bloop. Then I'll do that again. Three, five, by one, by one. Not enough. So four and four. So eight. For green space. Increase the oxygen by one, increase me by one. Okay, so it's all spent out. Now I do production. This is going to be a glorious production turn because I have so much money. I have 18 plus 4, so 22 plus 5. So 22 plus 5, so I get $27. Just like that. 20. Shoot. 7. All right, so that's all the money. Uh, cards, I get to draw three whole cards. One, two, three. So three cards for me. And after I get the three cards, uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, produce heat, which is gonna be nine heat. So I'll just put a 10 in there, take back a one, and four plants. So I'll put a five, throw away the one, Good, good, good stuff. All right, so now we're on the final round with the uh, sorry final set of rounds, and I get to choose now uh, which one of these actions to do. So I get to choose which one of the uh, actions the bot player will do. So now I got to optimize this because I had to had to flip over, <laughs> I had to flip over nine ocean tiles and get the in and get the heat and the energy up by like a crazy amount. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be some uh, this is a huge mountain to climb right now. So I'm definitely going to play construction, and I think the bot's going to play uh, action. Should I do that way? Let me think. No, the bot's going to play production. They're going to have to play production eventually. All right. Okay, so construction happens. Um, I'm going to do definitely Ice Asteroid because I need to get this card out to flip two oceans. So I spend 21 minus $4 because of my faction ability. So I spend $17. And I, I don't have any other reduction, so I just spend 17 So 10, 2, and 5, 17. 
And that one allows me to flip two ocean tiles. So ocean tile number one and ocean tile number two. And that allows me to get uh, one plant in two dollars. And also allows me to get one card. And also because I flipped over an ocean tile, it allows me to move my TR up to one, two, sorry, I flipped two, I mean, all right, so that's part one. And then part two of my turn, uh, let's see, can I play any other big cards right now? I want this one to be played too. It's pretty expensive though. Ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I wanna play this one. So I'm gonna play this one for $12. Uh, it's reduced by nothing because I have nothing to reduce it. Oh no. Huh? So I'm gonna spend the $12, 10 and two. All right. And um, that's the two cards played. So now we're just gonna produce. So I'm gonna do, I'm getting $20 plus five, 25 plus four. Nope, nope, just 25, I'm getting $25, 25. And I get three cards. One, two, three. Uh, and then I get nine heat. And then I get four plants. Okay, okay. So now I gotta think about this very strategically. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see how strategic I can be with this though. Oh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. Okay, so I have enough for I have exactly the number of cards I need. That would have been nice really early, but sadly it showed up this late in the game. It's a little bit too late for that card right now. That would have been nice early on too. Might have encouraged me to actually get some titanium in a steel, but seeing this game has been pretty scarce. Pretty scarce getting some of these cards out. So I'm actually going to throw away this card. I'm going to throw away this card. So I don't want to look at it anymore. I want to throw away this card. Um, I don't have to do this right now, but I'm doing this right now just to give myself a little bit more money. So that's going to be $9 that I just gained. Take a 10, put back a 1. All right. All right, um, man, I got some heavy lifting to do. Holy crap. So I definitely need to do action. And I'll have the game do uh, the draw cards so I can get some more options here. So with action, I can activate these. Uh, I, I guess I'm going to draw two cards with this one. Drawing two cards with that one. Then I'm going to. So I drew two cards. I can spend six heat to get two dollars and increase the oxygen by one. I will do that. I'm going to spend six heat. That increases the oxygen by one. My TR goes up by one. And I get two dollars. I want to spend fifteen dollars. Yes, I do. Fifteen dollars for a tree. Uh, I'll put this five. One, two, three, four. And that increases the oxygen by one step. Oh, I don't know what step was. Oh gosh. Oh no. I'm assuming it was. Uh, oh. Okay. All right. I'll put it. On. It's a little bit like the cube is bigger than the space. It's so, like it's hard to tell which one it's on. So I'm assuming it's there. And my TR goes up by one. All right, and then I can spend four heat to increase the oxygen by one. I will do that. So I'll spend four heat, increase the oxygen by one. Bloop. There we go. And I can now choose to do this to spend or discard a card to get three plants. Uh, I will definitely do that. Discard. 
Yes, discard this card. That wasn't doing anything for me. To get three plants. Okay. Um, uh, what is my other choice? I can spend a dollar to draw a card. Money's getting kind of scarce, even if it's just one dollar. That's that's a lot. That's a lot. Also, I played a plant tag earlier. I should have another microbe on this card over here. That's what I need to. I really need to keep up with that. It's, it's very important. Um, hmm. I do not want to spend a dollar to draw a card. Um, instead, uh, and now I can choose to use any of these actions for a second time. I will choose to do this one for a second time to draw two cards. Actually, should I do that or should I just do the heat? Uh, was that 15 heat? Yeah, I'll do the heat. I'll spend four heat again to increase this by one, increase my TR by one. <laughs> yep, we're getting to the to the wire here. Um, now that that's happened, we're going to go to my forced actions that I have to do uh, the rest of the projects. So I'm going to spend the eight plants to make a tree. And I go up by one, oxygen goes up by one. And I'll spend eight more plants to do another tree. And this goes up by one again. And I go up by one. Okay. So the plants are almost done. Um, oh, right, the heat. Sorry, I forgot about the heat. Uh, spin a 10, take back a 2. And this goes up by 1. I go up by 1 again. I'm contemplating if I want to spin money or throw away cards now to do more uh, actions. I guess I can save that for last. I'll save it for last. Yeah, I'll stay that for last. All right, so I'm going to do um, so. So I'm I'm done with this particular turn. I'm going to do production again, and the game is going to do. Uh, does develop help me right now? Develop could help me actually. So could construction. See, so construction lets me get this out, which gives me some more stuff. But develop will allow me to get uh, this card. Yeah, I'm going to do develop. Alright, so we'll do the green action. So now I get to build a green. So this happens before production. So now I'm going to do green. Let's see. So it's during production phase, generate two heat, but it also allows me to raise oxygen one step. So it allows me to raise temperature one step and produces one heat. So I'll do this one instead. $15. And 20, get $5 back. No price reduction for me, sad. But increase my heat production by 2. So I go from 9 to 11. And uh, I get to raise the oxygen one step. And that goes up one. Alright, cool. Now we do production. Woo! Alright, so production is going to be $28 for me. Plus 4. So 28 plus 4, which is 32. And then 32 plus 5, which is 37. 10, 20, 30, 5, 1, 2. I guess draw three cards. 1, 2, 3. And then I get to produce 11 heat. And I get four plants. Two, three, four. Okay. Um, that was that turn. So the real question is, what can I do to make this better? This is really tough. I 
I think I need to, man, ugh. You can tell the game to action now, and I can do construction. Yeah, I think I think that's a good one. So I'm gonna do construction, and the game will t will do action. So this is gonna cost me thirty minus four, so twenty six dollars to play, which is a hefty price to pay for a card, especially when consider I just got all that money. Literally just got this money. All right, and that card allows me to raise my terraform rating by two steps. One, two. It also allows me to raise the temperature by one step. Ooh, actually, should I? Shoot. Okay, I'm switching this. So I'm gonna have the game construction, and I'm going to. Oh, I can't production. I just productioned. Ah. I'm going to action then. Fine. Man, I'm not gonna be able to time it to where. I will have the maximum number of resources. This is actually pretty brutal. All right, so I raise my TR by two, raise the temperature one step. So one step, go for one. Uh, gain two plants. Uh, if you have three or more tag gain, or sorry, three or more plant tags, gain four plants or four additional plants. So I have one, two, three. Uh, one, two. I only have two. No, oh, one, two, three. Okay. And I need three or more. Okay, perfect. So I have three tags. One, two, three. So one, two, and then three. So that means I get six plants from this. Five and one. That's all I did? That's sad. Well, I'll need more than that. That sucks. Anyway. <clears throat> okay. Sure, that's my construction action, and now um, I can do the actions. So now I really need cards. Uh, if I can get some good cards, some good red cards, that'll be great. Uh, but otherwise, we're looking at the uh, end of the game soon. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> A lot of, uh... man. Alright, so now um, actions, right? So I'm going to spend a dollar to draw a card for sure. So spend a dollar, draw a card. And then I'm going to discard a card to gain three plants. Uh, I will gladly discard this card I just drew to gain three, oh, three plants. Cool. Uh, I have not played a science tag since I've had this, this hasn't kicked in. I did not play a new plant tag or germ tag since that doesn't do anything. Um, that hasn't really done anything useful for me because I keep forgetting to do it. Um, allows me to basically look at two additional cards when I do develop, or sorry, research. Uh, I get to draw two cards, so I will. One, two. And this one I can spend six heat to raise the oxygen by one step, I will not do that. I can spend $15 to make a plant, I will not do that. Um, I can spend $4 to raise the oxygen by one step, I will not do that either. Alright, uh, and I can do an action a second time again. I'm going to draw two more cards. Actually, let me think. Hold on. This, is, this is eight. This is five. Okay, so I, I, I'll actually discard a card. Let me discard this card to get three plants. For a second time. Oh, that's not. Oh, that's gonna be enough. Yeah, one, two, three. Okay, that works. Oh wait, I don't need to increase it by two, do I? That's a waste. I don't want to do that. Nope. I lied. I don't want to do that at all. Because my goal is not TR rating. My goal is actually just terraforming. So I just need to increase that one more time, which I have one more time over there. So instead, I'm going to for a second time. Yeah, get get those two cards. I think I think I did that correctly. I might, I might have done one of those actions three times. I don't know. Things are getting a little hectic because I'm about to have to spend a lot of money to do a lot of things, like a lot of heavy lifting. When I say a lot of heavy lifting, I mean a lot of heavy lifting. All right, so <laughs> we're going to do the um, rest of the stuff. So I've done all these. We're going to do this. This is a uh, ten. I have to spend eight heat. So I spend eight heat. 
increase temperature by one. And I'm going to do the plants. Goes up by one. I go up by one. Do I want to spend money right now? Um, the answer is definitely. Eh, maybe not. Hold on. Just in order for me to draw more cards. I think I have. These are all the cards that I will have. Let's see. That doesn't do anything for me. During the production phase, this, nope, doesn't do anything for me. Doesn't do anything for me. Gain three plants. Oh, that's nice. During the production phase, this, okay, that might be useful. No, that's not useful. My oxygen is already max level. That's not going to do anything for me. It just uh, draws a card. This wants me to raise the temperature, so I might want to play this. So I'm going to consider that. Requires six oceans to be flipped. Gain two plants. <laughs> okay, that's definitely not going to help me right now. Requires two ocean tiles to be flipped. Okay, super not useful. Doesn't do anything special for me. Uh, spend any amount of heat to gain that amount of mega credits. That would have been useful. Uh, actually, that's not, that's not going to be useful this particular game. I need more heat production. Ah, that's ironic. Um, all these heat production cards are going to do nothing for me. Um, as long as we gain two plants, completely useless. During production phase, uh, I get $3, that's so going to be useless. So all of these cards are useless to me. All of these cards are useless to me, because they don't give me heat. I need heat. If I can get heat, that will be great. Now, if some of these cards give me heat immediately, that will be more useful, but they don't give me heat immediately. So I'm going to throw away all these cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so I get $33. three and then one two three all right now with my 33 dollars that i have suddenly found out of nowhere um <laughs> let's see can i afford to do all this at the same time hmm. i really needed a production round this time around but i couldn't have production I, I couldn't do production twice oh i wasn't in production i was doing actions anyway that's neither here nor there. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and say I probably don't have it now. I probably don't got it. Probably don't got it. Because I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times 15. That I need that much money just to flip the oceans. Wow. So that's, uh, what is it, 7 times 15, that's 30, plus 30, plus 30, so it's 90, 105, I need $105 to flip those 7 oceans. Yeah. <laughs> this is not looking, not looking too promising for me. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't got it. I, I don't see $105 over there, so I'm pretty sure I don't got it. The most I can do right now at this moment is to flip over two, three oceans. I can flip over three oceans right now. And then I'm not going to have enough money to do much else. So it looks like I'm flipping over three oceans. So fifteen. So thirty. Wait. Did I just put in three or two? What? Oh no. Oh no. I don't know how much. I don't. I don't know how much money I put in there. Okay. I said I can. I have enough money to flip over three oceans, right? I feel like I'm holding more than three oceans. Hold on. I think I had this. I think I had this. So this is two oceans. And then this is an ocean. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay. So 10, 20, 30, 45 dollars to flip over three oceans. So ocean number one, which would give me four dollars, which is nice. Ocean number two would give me a card plus a plant. 
Potion number three will give me two plants. Super useless. I get three TR for that. One, two, three. Okay. Um, that doesn't help at all. This card is pretty useless to me too. I'm going to throw it away and I'll get my three dollars. And do I have, I don't have a Jupiter tag? Oh no. All right, well, this card chooses to me, too. So I'm going to throw that one away for three more dollars. Fine. So this is 10, 15. So I got another $15. Uh, with that $15, I can flip over another ocean. I think at this point, that's all I got. So I'm just going to flip over another ocean. One, two, three, four, five. 10... One, two, three, four, five, fifteen. All right. Cool. So I can flip over another ocean, and I'll do this one. Two more plants. Thanks, game. One, two. So what I can do is, um, in the round that you max out a thing. So in this particular round, I can I can uh, get another terraform rating for plants, per the rules. <clears throat> but after this round, you will no longer be able to get points for it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because it's not gonna change anything. But you know, hashtag feels Batman. All right. Well, we got our last little one, so this is doing action, and uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna twiddle my thumbs here with production. <coughs> so action, um, I can spend a dollar to. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw this card away for three dollars. I can spend a dollar to draw a card, so I will. Um, and then I can discard a card to gain three plants. I'm not gonna. It's not gonna do anything for me anymore. Uh, if I play it, nope, nope, nope. Draw two cards, sure. It's more money. More money in my coffers. Card magic, that's what we're doing. I can spend six to get two dollars and raise the oxygen. Uh, I don't want to do that. Uh, I can spend fifty. Nope, and I don't want to do that either. So I'm going to throw away these three cards because I can't really play them anymore. We're on our last round. That really sucks because these cards are okay, pretty decent, pretty decent cards. So I'm give me nine dollars. Five. One, two, three, four. So nine. And. I think that's pretty much game. Um, I can produce my resources. It doesn't matter though. They won't do anything for me at all. Um, there you go. That's that's me playing <laughs> Terraform Mars uh, Eris Ex Expedition on uh, solo. And as you can see, uh, I did not succeed. My oxygen is pretty nice. My heat level is pretty darn low. Uh, and I don't have all the oceans. So I did not win the game before the 25th round. Uh, one of the things I've noticed with this game, though, uh, is that I, I do I do prefer. I, I don't know. It, it's it's this is Terraform Mars. It's the same thing with Terraform Mars. It's kind of like sometimes like you feel like you're doing really good, and then you just don't draw the right cards, and then you just feel like you're you're handicapped or kneecapped the whole time. Um, a lot of people have derailed or decried against that, saying they wish they had a system. Sorry, I'm trying to move this over. They wish they had a system to where they can choose the cards they get, or you know, kind of pick the cards on their own time, and that'll be nice. But at the end of the day, Terraform Mars is kind of a, kind of like you know a random bag of cards, and then you see what you do with them, see how you link them together. Um, I, I tried to brute force it at the end, and it didn't work out too well because brute forcing is very expensive. Um, I definitely do think that when you're playing this particular version of the game, uh, getting card your card draw economy as high as possible is really nice. Getting your card draw economy pretty high is pretty nice. Uh, if you can get your terraform rating up, that's nice too towards the end of the game. But remember, whenever you discard a card, you get three dollars per card. And there's actually some cards in the deck that will give you one extra dollar uh, whenever you discard a card. So if I could have got one of those, especially when I had all those cards, like I think I got thirty-three dollars at the end for discarding eleven cards at once, I could have discarded the same eleven cards and got forty-four dollars, which would have changed the game slightly. Um, and then also sometimes these actions are, are nice, but if you forget to use them like this one, where you can look at two additional cards, it doesn't really benefit you too much. This card was pretty awesome to get out. 
uh, to get two more cars during the action phase. It made me want to do the action phase more. Um, but I do definitely think research is still a very underutilized action by me specifically because every time I look at it, it's like it feels so bad. You draw five cards and then you keep two. It's like, ah, that's just, it just feels so gross. I'd rather draw my cards elsewhere. Uh, but at the end of the day, if, like I said, the more cards you can get, the better. And of course, in this particular version of the game, I feel like research feels even worse. Because if you research and the bot research at the same time, it messes you up. Um, also, because you're playing solo and the bot's kind of random, uh, you're kind of subject to random. You can try to plan around it. But, you know, if I choose research and the bot chooses research, then that's just one extra wasted action. So instead of having my normal 50 potential actions that I could do, I might have only like 30 actions to try to achieve the same goal. So it's a give and take. It's a push and pull. Um, you can take it or leave it. I enjoy it quite a bit. I think it gives me the same feel of normal Terraform Mars, uh, but in a shorter time period. Um, I do like the fact that this game has that uh, roll selection uh, mechanic because it kind of keeps everybody active and going. But ultimately, you know, the randomness of one, the which roles are going to be in that round from the bot that you're playing, and also two, the randomness of the cards, just the natural randomness of Terraform Mars's cards, that, that kind of hurts it, sure. So yeah, so that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's going to be it for the video. Let me know what you think in the comments uh, below. And also, if I made any mistakes, feel free to let me know too. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I will see you guys whenever.